What's up guys, it's Eric from B-Side. Today we have here a 2017 Toyota Highlander. We're gonna be in style once again. Our plug and play Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Retrofit. We wanna do a new video because the last one we did was quite a bit time ago and we thought we'd refresh it up with a new video. And it's gonna be a little bit different because we did change how the device operates since the last video we made. Now all the audio is routed through the CarPlay's Bluetooth, whereas before you routed or went through the auxiliary. So let's go ahead, let's not waste any time, get in the car and install our S-Connect. All right guys, so now that we're in the car, let's go ahead and remove the radio. So first we're gonna remove this trim here. Just grab a panel removal tool like this. It could be a straight edge, but I recommend you use a plastic one so that you don't damage your interior while removing this. Okay, and then let's work your way all the way to the left, removing all the clips might need a little help of a panel removal tool on this corner here okay. and there's a connector push down on the release tab and pull out and let's also remove this clip here basically there's a little little tab here that you're going to push and then remove next let's remove this trim place your finger here pull it out just work your way to the left. All right, and let's remove these two vents. Let's grab a hold of this, pull out. All right. And also the left side. And now this exposes the four 10 millimeter bolts. We got one, two, three, and one on the other side. We're going to remove it using a 10 millimeter socket. You could use uh, a power tool like this, or you could use a ratchet. All right, and now it's ready to be pulled out. Before we do so, lay a thick towel like this. And grab a hold of this firmly, and just pull it out like so. All right. And let's rest this on this towel. Just be very careful you don't scratch any of the interior because these brackets are very sharp. All right, so now that we have these connectors exposed, these are the connectors we're gonna be working on today. This one, this one, and also this one. And your car might look a little different than ours. We actually have an amplifier, our plug and play Encore Alpha amplifier also installed to this vehicle. It's plug and play, very easy to install. Makes a very significant difference. So we have that installed in here already. Um, so that's why you see these foreign connectors here. So you could just ignore that, but just note that this, this, and this, these are the three connectors that we're gonna be working on. So let's grab our harness. This is how it looks. Just a bundle of wires and cables. Let's remove all our wire ties. All right, so let's disconnect these three connectors. We got one, two, and three. Whenever you're dealing with these connectors, always push down on the release tab and pull out on the connector. Do not pull on the wires because you may damage them. So everything's gonna be plug and play. Like so. Female side of our connector will connect to the car male side and the male side from our connector will connect to the radio. Do that for all three connectors and make sure you don't tangle these connectors and cables up. Try to not cross them. Okay, and out of these cables, we will keep this power cable, our microphone, and our audio cable. These three cables, we're going to keep it here so this all this is going to be routed just kept behind the radio because we are going to mount the carplay module carplay android auto module behind the radio while we mount our dip switch box down below kick panel from the passenger side so this is going to be routed down there while this will be kept there so let's route this down there and we're also going to route our hdmi cable from back there to come up there so we'll do that now we are going to do that by going behind the radio and we are going to loop down under this crash beam 
just go straight down and to the right and you can't find it below there okay so let's go down here let's drop this under panel just being held by clips push down on the release tab and grab a hold of this and just pull just keep this clip in a safe location and you should be able to find the cable right here and next let's route this HDMI cable through the same way okay. all right so we have these here let's connect the bottom one first very easy double check your dip switch setting it should be all off all we have to do is connect here and connect the HDMI. Just two connections. And when you're connecting this, make sure this orientation is correct. The release tab needs to go to the top. Do not connect it backwards. If you connect it backwards, you will short this out. Okay, terrific. And we will find a mounting location for that shortly. Okay, so there's one more connection we're gonna make. This is for all of you guys that purchase the additional USB harness. It's optional. Basically what this does is your factory USB connector, you'll disable the factory function, but it'll become wire CarPlay or Android Auto or become a charging and it'll charge faster at 2.1 amps instead of 1.5 factory. Okay. Push it like this, okay. Okay, we'll connect this optional harness like so and this will connect to our MV17W or our CarPlay Android Auto module here like this okay and let's continue on with our other connection to this module so here's our power let's connect it here like so and we have our two 3.5 millimeter jacks Okay, with the microphone, microphone will connect to mic in and the AUX will connect to line out. Do not connect to external speaker, you'll get distortion if you do. And we have two more connections. One is the antenna. This is the antenna for your wireless CarPlay Android Auto connection to this module. And we will route this down below to the driver's side. We're gonna go left and we'll go down. And this USB extension cable that comes with it, you don't need it if you use this additional harness, optional adapter. If you don't get this optional adapter, you could connect this here and you could route this to your desired location. Most likely it's gonna be a glove box. And lastly, we have the HDMI cable like this and this will connect between the two boxes one mounted here and one mounted down there and the reason why we mount this down there is because there's just not r enough room behind the radio to mount both boxes this is specific for the JBL if you have the non JBL you can mount both boxes behind because there's gonna be no speaker up here and you'll be able to tuck one of the boxes up here in this cavity okay so we'll grab this and let's route this towards the driver's side we're gonna go straight down and it should drop right here okay there it is all right here it is i'll leave it here later on we'll tuck it behind this panel all right so we have all this we have a lot of wires and cables we're going to use some zip ties to organize them as much as we can and this is very important especially for this car because there's just not much room back here to work with so make sure to untangle all the cables there's no and try to not cross as many cables as possible and try to move all the cables off to the side if you can and away from just right behind the radio all right so let's do our organization Sure, it's working. What's the weather? GPS connected. 
It's currently cloudy and. All right, so let's go ahead and reverse order everything we just did. We're gonna mount these. We'll find a place for that, and we'll mount the box on the right. Before we we do that, let me put everything back in place in the center. All right, now let's mount the antenna. All right, so we've got the antenna coming out here. We're going to put it behind this. To do it, you can just pull this back. These clips might come out. All you have to do is just push it back in if it does. Okay, here it is. We're going to remove this adhesive. We're going to stick it back here. We actually pushed it against the center, center part instead of this outer panel. Okay. All right, and then what I have to do is push these clips back in and you are done. All right, now let's go to the passenger side. All right, so you can't really see this, but you could feel it. We're gonna put some foam tape on here, on the box. And right under here, there's an opening on the bottom and we're going to slide this in. While you're doing this, be very aware of where this HDMI cable is connected because any pressure on this will break it off and that won't be good. It's very expensive to replace this box. So be very, very careful that you don't put any pressure on this connection point here. We're gonna slip it down there. We're gonna do it very carefully. If you end up using foam tape like this, make sure you don't block the vents. Okay, there's vents here on the side. Okay, once again, can't see it, but you'll be able to feel it. All right. All right, so after you securely mounted that box, let's mount our under tray back on. Just push it up and the clips will reconnect to its original location. And then our installation is complete. So let me show you how everything works. All right guys, we just finished installing this kit. Let me show you how it works. So everything's gonna look exactly the same. Our factory functions will continue to function. The only difference now you have CarPlay or Android Auto depending on the phone you have. So let's get this set up. So first of all, you wanna make sure your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth. So you're gonna go here, um, Bluetooth audio, that's the source you wanna be. We're gonna connect my phone into this. So let me show you how to do that. You might already know how to do it, but let me just go over, go to setup, go to phone, go to connect phone, add, and yes. All right, and then on your iPhone or Android device, you're going to your Bluetooth menu, and you're going to wait until Toyota Highlander shows up. There it is. Okay, this is not our car, so I'm not gonna allow my favorites and contacts. And once your phone connects to the car's Bluetooth, select audio, make sure you're in the Bluetooth audio source. And once that's done, push and hold the hang up button on the steering wheel, and you'll come to this three icon screen. Once you're in this three icon screen, go back to your phone and go to general CarPlay. And you're gonna find this MV17W. You will connect to that. Going to pair. Okay, I'm not gonna allow my favorite and contacts because it's not our car. And just wait a few seconds. And then, here we go, this is it. So CarPlay at your fingertips, it's wireless. And next time you come in the car, the phone will connect to the device automatically. You do still have to press and hold the hang up button and switch the screen. So if you press and hold the hang up button now, it will go back to the factory screen and then back into the CarPlay screen as well. All right, so let's see, let's play some music. Okay, there's our music. And if you wanna summon Siri, you can do it two ways. You can press and hold here or you can press the call button. What's the weather? And if you wanna adjust Siri's volume, let me show you how to do that. Yeah, go to settings. Go to sound and haptics, turn on change with buttons, 
and press and hold the right button here to summon Siri and you could raise it. Okay, so you make sure you also have your Siri turned on from the side button. So you want to go accessibility, go to side button and turn on Siri. Oops. Okay. All right, there it is. It's currently cloudy okay. and 52 there degrees. There it is. The volume is about the same volume as the uh, music volume. All right, so while you're in the CarPlay mode, if you place your car to reverse gear, reverse camera is going to show up like normally. You go back and it will take you back to your CarPlay screen. And while you're in the CarPlay screen, all the swiping action works. You can use all your maps, favorite maps, and so forth. And if you want to adjust the screen resolution, brightness, and contrast on your CarPlay screen, you can do so by going back to your native screen and go to home go to settings, go to display, and go to camera, and you can adjust it here. We raised the brightness, and we kept the contrast to the center. We found that that's the best setting for this Highlander with JBL. And once you're in this screen, you can also adjust the setting, make the appearance always dark. That helps with the contrast. And in Google Maps, we like to use it in night mode and also in ways you can also change it in night mode if you want from your phone all right guys well that concludes our installation and demonstration video on this 2017 toyota highlander and installing our carplay android auto s connect interface if you have any questions leave a comment below or you can email us at bsonicusa.com and if you're ready to purchase this today it is available at our website and we will be able to ship it out to you immediately thank you very much for watching if you haven't yet Hit that like and subscribe button and help our channel out. We really appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next video.